how do we cultivate a prophetic spirit? Because the times we're living in, listen, they're, they're blowing up you know, schools, right? I mean, the people are sneaking up on people and, and, and knifing them. I mean, how do we avoid these blind sides? How do we discern the hindering spirits? How do we push back the works of darkness? Well, we need to be focused on the Lord Jesus Christ, not on the devil. However, however, we can't ignore the devil either. And so my thought is if we cultivate a prophetic spirit, we can get the heads up on anything. My daughter, some years ago, there was a, she lives in Louisiana, and there was a, uh, a shooter that went into the movie theater right down next to where she worked. And, and I saw, I woke up in the morning, because I go to bed very early, and I woke up in the morning, and I saw, it was all over the news, that, that, that there was this big shooting in this Louisiana movie theater. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, because I'm going to pray in tongues. I'm, I'm texting her, she's not answering me. I'm calling her, she's not answering me. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't know where she is. And the Holy Spirit says, she's fine. She's safe. Amen. Later on, she called me. Uh, I said, I was calling you. Why didn't you answer? She goes, I, was, I, just, I just crashed. I was asleep. She goes, I was supposed to go to the movies with my friends to that same movie, that same time, that same night when the shooter was there. She said, some of my friends were in that building, and I was so freaked out. I came home. I couldn't sleep, and i just been sleeping ever since I fell asleep. And I said, well, why didn't you go to the movies? I said, all your friends went to the movies. I said, why didn't you go? She said, something told me not to. Many people didn't go to the Twin Towers on 9-11 because something told them not to. It wasn't something, it was someone, amen? And in the time we're living in, there are perilous times. It's perilous times. It's not to be afraid, but understand that the world, I mean, look at all the violence everywhere, right? But more than that, more than avoiding violence, more than avoiding, you know, spiritual attack, I, wanna, I want everything Jesus died to give me. I want to walk in the overflow. I want to walk in a greater anointing. I want to raise the dead. Amen. Yeah. And it's about the micro instructions. It's about the still small voice. It's about the prophetic spirit. So how do we cultivate that? How do we do that?